Hi everybody. We are the Electron Cyclotron Resonance Thruster Capstone Group, or ECR for short. We are a group of six seniors in the Aerospace Department working with the UW Space Propulsion and Advanced Concepts Engineering Lab. Over the last nine months, we have designed and manufactured a new type of ECR thruster that may expand the practical application of these thrusters for future space missions. Electric propulsion uses electrical energy to accelerate plasma as a propellant. An ECR thruster is a type of electric propulsion that uses the electromagnetic forces to generate thrust. This is done using a phenomenon called electron cyclotron motion. A magnetic field is introduced, causing electrons to move in a circular pattern. An antenna then transmits electromagnetic waves at a specific frequency creating resonance. In this region referred to as the ECR zone, gas ionizes, creating a plasma that is then accelerated down a magnetic nozzle. Designs have historically used coaxial antennas to transmit power. However, these designs cause erosion of the central antenna as a result of being in direct contact with the plasma. Our design explores the use of a patch antenna to circumvent these problems by eliminating physical contact with the plasma. We explored patch antenna theory and conducted computer simulations using ANSYS HFSS and other 3D electromagnetic simulation softwares. This allowed us to design an antenna with peak efficiency at the desired resonant frequency. Low power testing was then conducted to verify simulated results. Using the results, we designed a high power iteration of the antenna to withstand thermal loads expected from high power inputs. The high power design increased contact surface area with thermally dissipated materials to make use of conduction and radiation in a vacuum environment where convection is not an available method of heat transfer. The body of the thruster was then designed to accommodate the high power antenna, taking into account integration with the ring magnets for the magnetic nozzle, mounting to Space Lab's inverted pendulum thrust stand to collect data, and the gas injection mechanism. As we move towards the end of the quarter, we await vacuum chamber testing of our new thruster. If our design proves successful at shielding the transmitting antenna, it would mean a huge jump in the viability of ECR for real space applications.